Hey everybody, it's Dave here in Poco. Uh, it's update number 12, so 15 weeks. Uh, there's some uh, bok choy that was just cut off and I regrew. Keep it going. Uh, it's BC Day, so happy BC Day to all my fellow BC residents. We've got a bunch of cucumbers again. They're going crazy. I made uh, if you've been following along, I made a couple of jars of pickles, well, three jars of pickles just with two of these. So now there's two, four, six visible here. Another guy here, another guy way up there. Uh, the pump is running, so it's going to be a bit louder, but I wanted to show the system too because I got some pressure out. Red tomatoes, nice. Uh, more coming. Uh, but first, the, uh, the cool thing, look at that orange there. These, these were all green last week, like that, and this guy just exploded. The color is so cool. And this guy's coming up quick. Another uh, new guy there in this plant. Get some more. Uh, oh, I had some uh, jalapenos too. A couple of them fell off, so I've been eating those. Had some for breakfast. Uh, not too hot yet, but pretty tasty. Uh, and I was asking about strawberries from this last week. And found a little stash here. So we got some strawberries going. So they are starting to come, which is awesome. Those are really tasty. Zucchini still going. It's kind of a mess. So I might, I might redo this one. It was fun, but it's just out of control. The celery, very good on uh, a couple of dishes I had this week. More stuff growing for the next time. But I did get some questions about how I, what my system is. So. We started at the reservoir tank, which was just a Home Depot container that I painted the top white so you don't get algae. I just opened it up. I did make this cage just as a filter and I put a one on the line coming back. So those are just uh, paint bags, paint straining bags. And then my pump is here which I don't know the name and number of it. I got it off Facebook for 10 bucks, which was a steal. And then I got half inch line going out to a T, and then it goes to a T here, and then loops around for the rail system. And this one goes shooting along here. And down to here, which ties in to here and then goes up back to that one so there's two figure eights kind of thing and this goes back up to these buckets so it just has a more even water pressure going through the whole thing and then I have the half inch so these are quarter inch so you can see in there if you need to uh, I don't remember the name of these or the, or the part number, but these are quarter inch lines coming off. Uh, I'll show this one. So it's a pretty steady stream. And I have it on a timer, which is a half an hour timer. I, I think I would have preferred to get the 15 minute timer, but I have that set for half an hour on half an hour off during the day and an hour off at night and then half an hour on but I've, it's been pretty warm lately so i've changed it to the afternoons just to be fully on and then the grommets so, so it goes in uh, just for those who haven't seen it the hyd hydrogen uh, i got that in this big bag here which was 
from Leaflor, L-I-A-F-L-O-R, and it's a 50 liter bag, and it's 36 bucks, Canadian. So the water drips down onto the roots, and then there's a half inch line here, and these grommets are three quarter inch. I just looked up the part number, but they're, they're not available on Amazon right now, but I got a 25 pack for $6.55. That's the hydrogen. Look, I even made notes. How efficient, eh? Uh, the two-inch line return. Okay, covered that. Four-inch rails here with the end caps glued on. Three-inch net cups. And then I have a line here. So everything I can take off and clean. Like, like these I can just lift up. And so I could clean out this whole pipe if I need to. And then it just goes down into there. And then back down. So I got three rails. And then these ends are, are open. So I could just put a, a an elbow here and just feed water in there and, and nutrients if I needed. Uh, the what the nutrients I use is the general hydroponics three-part system and with the tank that I have it works out to a, a shot glass a week which is pretty easy uh, the lines most of the parts I did get from rainbird uh, these were the the fittings I got uh, if you use that part number you'll be able to find the, the T's and elbows and straight ones. Uh, the quarter inch line. I don't think there's a part number on it. No. But any black quarter inch line will do. And then the half inch line was that part number. And that's all rainbird. And the fitting. Oh, I had them somewhere. Well, I, I brought them in to try and look them up. But anyway, that's my system. It worked out pretty good. Uh, yeah, so lots of tomatoes coming. And I'm going to make some more uh, pickles today. So we got two, four, six, probably seven I can take off today. And the pot plant's growing pretty big already. That's three weeks for this guy. Uh, the buckets are good. These ones are just, just neutral. And it was at this point that the, my video died. So here's the plate of food I got. See you next week.